Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And last week, we finished off uh, Extra Utilities. And this week, we're going to do Rustic. We already got the Wild Berries ages ago. I don't know how we managed to do that, but we got it. So, let's claim our Wild Berries. Is there a general overview? A charming mod filled with farming and brewing. I should have said that first. I've never really used the rustic mod. I think I've used it like once. And I do remember making the chandelier. Because they have a really nice gothic looking chandelier thing. But that's all I've done with it. I've never... I know you can grow tomatoes. You can grow olives you can get olive oil you can grow some other stuff you have the crushing tub but oh brewmaster Does that mean we can make alcohol Ooh, interesting so yeah i don't really know anything else about it so the wild berries we did ages ago um iron berry i went looking for an ironwood sapling because i thought you know what we need to find one and um it took me quite a while I think I ended up flying about a thousand blocks away from here and then because I didn't want to waste the time on camera looking for an ironwood tree but then knowing my luck I'll probably go up here explaining well you know it looks pretty much the same as all the other trees and I'll find one sitting right outside my door but um but yeah it was kind of hard I did have to fly around and have a look but I found I found two so I chopped them down I got the ironwood sapling that we needed, which, where is it? Olives, hop seed, silver bell. I did get ironwood saplings, didn't I? I thought I did. Oh yes, there you go. So we might as well grow it up and then bone meal it to see what it looks like. And actually, I probably should turn off my texture pack now I think about it. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, bone meal. Okay, it's... I probably should turn off my texture pack. Alright, let's do that quick. Um... Option, source packs, okay, and we're back to normal. Um, it's not much of a difference, but yeah, that's what it looks like. They seem to grow quite tall, and when you chop it down, when you chop it, oh great, when you chop it down you get iron berries, and ironwood. Uh, what am I looking for? I want dirt, for olive wood, hop seed, silver bell, cobblestone, ironwood. There you go. And what kind of planks? It gives you a kind of planks look like. It's a kind of pale pink, which is kind of nice. It's a very nice muted colour. I kind of like it. So yeah. So that's the um, that's the ironwood. And we did that. Well, I did that. So we get sixteen iron berries. Um, and let me see, eight. We need to do grapes. No, we need to do... We can do be happy, herb collector, and fertile land. In order to get the crushing tub, we need grapes. Well, let's do be happy first, because apparently we got a bee. I didn't know we had a rustic bee. Uh, forward. There you go. We do bee. Oh, yes, we have two. Oh, look at that. 
So we have rustic bees. Um, let's just put all of these furnace pet. Yeah, I found that. Bone meal, spider pet. Don't want that because that is annoying. Oh no, where's my bow? I just stuck it in the system. Didn't want to stick the bow in the system. Okay. Right. Alright, so we need to make an apiary. And to make an apiary, apiary, rustic, we need uh, wood, we need logs, we need planks, six logs and two planks. There you go. And we get a loot chest. The apiaries with bees will then cause nearby plants to grow faster. The more ple the more bees, the better plants. The better as plants will grow faster and the bees will produce more honeycombs. Okay. Um so what do you get with rustic honeycombs? Um If I put honeycombs Which one has biomes are plenty? Hams Honeycomb, and you can get beeswax from it. Put it in the crushing tub and get honey. Advanced alchemy, Co cohosh, and horsetail gives you elixir of regeneration, so you can do potions with it. Simple alchemy, yeah, you can do different potions, or you get beeswax. Okay, it has a few different things. Honeycomb chocolate bar. How do you get chocolate? Um, cocoa powder, milk, butter. See, Pam's, I see why people like Pam's. You can make lots of really cool recipes, but they're all very involved. That is the only other thing. Right, so we've done that. Uh, open the loot chest, because I never remember. Yet another beacon. Okay, don't need it, thank you. Okay, um, rustic lighting, iron chandelier ring, 12 iron chains, iron candles, and an iron lantern. And we need four of each and 12 of the iron chains. Okay. Um, let's do the grapes. I want the crushing tub because these are not connected. So let's do the fertile land. And then we can make the grapes and then we can come back. The fertile soil acts just like regular till dirt but doesn't need water. It doesn't need a water source block nearby to keep it hydrated and you can grow sugar cane on them. Okay, cool. So we need eight fertile soil. Make fertile soil, it's dirt and bone meal. Alright, so. No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, fertile soil. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. And um, we get 48. Then we can do grapes. You can get grape seeds by breaking vines, so find a swamp or jungle to forage them quickly. After being planted, grapes require horizontal rope to be directly above them in order to spread their grapevines. Craft some rope and place them just like you would string. Okay, do I have any grape seed? That would be awesome. No. Um, it says we have to find a jungle. Or a swamp. Okay, we have a nature's compass. Is it in my backpack? It might be in my backpack already. It is. Alright, so to use the nature's compass, we've used it a couple of times before. 
Um, do we have any jungles? Port by select by no select biome so we can search info sort by name sort by base height sort by height variation sort by temperature sort by rainfall top block filler block or name let's go by name because it's alphabetical and we want a jungle uh jungle all right so you select junk oh select jungle then hit search not found are there no jungles in this world okay let's try swamp my name um there can't be no jungles in this world swamp swampland search found swampland okay That way looks like this way. No, that's going away. All right. What I probably should do, you know what? I should put it into, um, if I put it into what do you call it? Oh dear. Journey map. And see what happens. Seven. All right. Let me write this down because you know me and my brain. Doesn't really work that well. Three, six, eight, four, nine, six. I'm guessing that's X and Z. So if we hit B. Um, three, three, six, eight, four, where are we? Four, nine, six, and swamp. Save. Okay, that's there. And that should make our life a lot easier. Okay, so I'm here. It was I'm in the swamp. Here's some vines. I think they've been turned because of the um the winter mob mod. Winter? Yeah, the there's a seasons mod in this. So I need Okay. Didn't mean to cut down that much but i need some shears which i didn't think about when i left the house so let's just make very quickly um willow wood oh it's a nice interesting green color i should really have a backpack a backpack a crafting table in my backpack all right so i need and I need some planks uh, wooden shears wooden shears root it's just shears right okay lots of vines did we get any grape seeds uh, vines not seeing grape seeds seeds oh yes we got two grape seeds that's awesome let's just get a couple more And that broke. Did we get any more grape seed? No, just the two, but that's fine. Okay, um, I've come home to find this. The textures are a bit weird. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's because I took off the texture pack. It could be. I know there is a command to reload the chunk. If I press F3 and Q um reload chunk where did I see reload chunk F3A F3A no that's not it I didn't like it maybe if I turn my texture pack back on 
otherwise I might have to um stop I mean everything is there yeah everything is there it's just the textures are a bit weird oh yeah I can still use it but um what was the other thing um there was something about reload texture packs f3t f3t okay that didn't work i don't know why it's done that but let's all right i can keep going it's fine it just looks weird right so we've got our grape seeds and it says to make rope so how do you make rope um, it would help if you could spell Shane. You know, spelling, kind of important. Alright, um, rope. I put at rustic. Rope. Oh, okay. Free string gives you rope. Let's clear out the old inventory. Don't need the vines. Cattails don't need. Willow saplings don't need. Bird nests. All of that stuff don't need. Really and truly, all we need is the rope. We need the fertile soil. Mud. Nope. Okay. So it said we can. You can put it out here. You don't need water. Keep it hydrated. Where are we going to have our little rustic area? I think here. Here's a nice little spot. Do a little landscaping. No, didn't break oil. Thing. That was some rustic. We'll probably need that. Um, okay, a good enough area, I think. Okay, I will have to straighten this out somehow. Oh, we've only got three. And two here. Anyhow, let's build a nine by n a three by three area. Um, and of course, I've got haste on this thing, so it just yeah, haste or efficiency or both. I don't know which one. Two, three. So yeah, this is how not to farm with Shane, because Shane is a rubbish farmer. No, that's fertile soil. We don't want that. Shane is a rubbish farmer and forgets what enchantment enchantments she has on her thing. Right. Uh, where's the grape seeds? Did I drop them in? I didn't put them in the thing, did I? I really have to work out how to increase the range. Alright, grape. Oh, I did drop them in. I can't recall putting them in there, but I must have done, obviously. Okay, so what did it say you need to do? Okay. Um after being planted, grapes require horizontal rope to be placed to be directly above them in order to, for them to spread their grapevines. Craft some rope and place them just like you would string. Okay. So grape seeds. And then it says it needs rope. You need a 
Um, okay, I'm right clicking. Nothing's happening. Do I need bone meal? Get some bone meal. Ah, uh, snow. Why do I have so many snowballs? Okay. If I bone meal up the grapes. Fully grown. Okay. I did. Do I need to put. What do I need to do? That is rust. Yeah, that is rustic rope. Um. Desire horizontal rope. Horizontal going across. Am I? Do I have to shift click? No. Do I need? Oh, I don't know what I need. All right. Let me do a quick Google search. You need an axe to get rid of it. All right. At least you get back your um your stuff, grape seeds. But yeah, I I. Don't know. Yeah, I've got back my grape seeds. Yeah, let's let me do a quick Google and I will be back. Okay, so had a little look and um yeah, it's not quite they left out a few steps in the explanation in the book. Um you need one plot, you need two spaces on each side, and you need sticks. You need some, some stakes. Which they didn't tell us. So that's dirt, that's oak wood. No. Right, where is. Where's the. Oh, there's the crafting table. I reloaded my texture pack while I was waiting, and it still made the textures in there really funky. I probably should have relogged the game, but never mind. Oh yeah, and um, what do I want? Put down my crafting table. Well, I haven't looked at it in this crafting in this in this um texture pack. It's pretty cool. Right, so you need stakes. Where's the wood? There's the wood. You make it like that, and I need two. The so wooden stakes. No, I think I need I need more than that. Let me chop down this tree. I need more than that, I think. So, thank you very much, tree, for your service. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Etc, etc, etc. Um, so, planks, plonks, planks. Okay. So, three straight down the middle will give you planks. Give you stakes. Um, right. Where'd I put the stakes there? Nine stakes. Right, let's put some stuff in here. For now. So, you put stakes, you need. Gap of two on each side? No, I need a gap of one on each side. And you can put the stakes up to three high, I believe it is. The rope goes on the stakes. Like that. And then the grapes. That's pineapple seed. Where's my grape seed? 
That's the only thing with this texture pack. Can't see the grape seed. Go there. So then now I can bone meal it. And it will grow up. And then it will go across. So I can get grapes. There you go. And that's how you get your grapes. So yeah, it didn't quite explain it properly. Which is a shame, because I... After being planted, grapes require horizontal rope to be di placed directly above them. Doesn't say anything about um, the, the sticks on the side. But apparently, tomatoes, tomato and chilli, you do it the same way. I think. What I can see. They all need either rope or sticks or something to help them grow. So, yeah. There you go. We've learned something. So that's our grape tree. So we have our loot chest. Did I claim it? I think I did. Um, gas tier, blaze rod, ender pearls. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Right, so what's the next thing? A crushing tub. I'm guessing we can use that. We've got ginseng. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Right, crushing tub. We want to make a crushing tub. So use the crushing tub by placing crushable items like grapes, iron berries, and wild berries in the tub. Then stand on top of the tub and jump up and down to crush one item into liquid. Use a bucket to pull the freshly crushed juice out of the tub, assuming you have at least a bucket's worth in there. Okay, so let's make some grape juice because, you know, we can. Uh, bone meal. Let's bone meal this up a little bit. Okay, so it's the sides you've got to bone meal in order to get grapes and not the middle. So we have a lot of grapes. How many do we have? 42. That should be more than enough to make a bucket. Alright, let's make... Oh, you're still open. Alright, the texture's kind of reloaded, but not quite. It's, a, it's very strange. Maybe what I should have done was log out and log back in again. But never mind. Right, we want a crushing tub. Alright, so oak planks, iron and slabs. Or planks, iron, and slabs. Not just oak. Alright, so we've got our crushing tub. Go out here. Our grapes. Okay, oh, okay. But we can put... Put the whole stack in. Well, not stack. We can put all of them in. All 42 grapes are there. And then we just... Oh, I can see it changing underneath me. And I think we just keep jumping until everything's gone. Oh, back. Right. This is very therapeutic. I'm almost done. I don't think I was on it properly. Or kind of hard to see what's going on. Okay. Alright, we need a bucket. And of course, they didn't come out with a free bucket. Is there a bucket on the side of any of these? No. Because why should there be? Three. Okay. Oh! Okay, fine. Why are you out? Um, there should have been enough fuel in there. We're going to have to... I'm going to have to see about a magmatic generator or something. Did I mention that? I can't remember. It. You have enough... Please tell me you have enough power. Yes, you have enough power. Right. That's a bit random. Do I have coal? I've noticed it does that sometimes. It will just, like, all just disappear. Right, I wanted a bucket. That's what I wanted. Uh, bucket. 
P-U-C-K. Okay. We need a bouquet. Okay, um, we have a drum. More than a bucket's worth in there. Okay, drum. Can we make a stone drum? We don't need a humongous drum. We just need a little drum. Just need a little drum. You gone. Uh, there you are. And that needs charging too. From there. Okay. Okay, so actually, from less than a stack, get quite a lot of buckets. Right. Not enough. All right, that's fine. So in here we have we have ten buckets worth. So from forty, we had what forty six or forty eight. So about forty will give you ten buckets worth of grape juice, which isn't too bad. All right. So let's claim that. This is fun, brewmaster. Now that you have juices, you can start brewing some special beverages. Check out the almanac to brew, to learn how to make the best brews. Okay, we need to make, need to brew something before we finish. Because, you know, alcohol stuff. Do we have an almanac or do we have to make it? Almanac. There's an almanac. And that. Thanks. Dirt. Thanks. And we also need to make a what? A brew something? Barrel? Brewing barrel. Alright. Brewing barrel. And you need iron, birch, uh, no, iron, planks, and slabs. Okay. Let's just make one. Let's have a look in the almanac. Almanac. There it is. Uh, decoration, agriculture, production. Brewing. Brewing is the process of fermenting fluids to get alcohol and is done with a brewing barrel. Um, it involves up to three fluids, the input, output, and the starter culture fluid. Starter culture fluid can be added if it's the same type as the recipe's output. Okay, grapes. Um, grapes come from grape wines, which are grown in grape seeds on farmland or so fertile soil. So uh, soil. Uh, grow onto the ropes. Okay, they don't, they don't actually, okay, it, grape juice can be made, all right, we want to brew it into a wine. Okay, let's go and experiment because it's not really saying very much. And it's also written really small. Okay, so we need a bottle. Alright, I'm guessing we need glass bottles. And there's not enough in there. Our bucket. Root juice, there. Okay. Can we pipe? Let me see. Fluid ducts. Do we have fluid ducts in this? Yes, we do. Alright, let's see if we can pipe the grape juice there. Uh, fluid. 
uh, blocks, built of fluids, fluid, use the. No, we don't have fluid ducks. All right. Got hopper ducks. We have pipes. We have transfer pipes, fluid pipes, no, or just pipes. Transfer pipe. All right, well, let's extra utilities too. Well, then let's take some of the transfer pipes and we need um, fluid, fluid transfer node. Okay. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it's worth a try. Where's the transfer nodes? There they are. Right, so if we put fluid transfer node on here, transfer pipe on here, and the barrel. Not, let's just show recipes, I think. No, it's not going, it's not going through. All right, not going through. All right, it was worth a try. Sometimes what these mods do play together, other times they don't. Okay. So we're going to have to do this by hand. The pain. See, I can't even just... All right, let's put in three buckets and we need, what do we need? Show recipes. That's probably what I should have done in the first place. All right, that looks like grape juice. Oh, we need wine to start. Grape juice, and that will give you wine. Okay, I'm guessing the grape juice you have in it faster it brews tell you how much it how long it takes you can make ale make cider make iron wine feed wild berry wine and normal wine all right so it's i'm guessing you gotta leave it for a while let me go get a glass bottle. Glass. No, uh, we have four glass bottles. Oh, loot chest. Loot crate's not fun anymore. Coal and iron. Okay. Loot chests are not fun anymore. What it should be is that when you get loot chests, that they um, what they will like adapt to your level. So if you're like midway through the game, if you're you're like mid game, then you should get mid game type stuff. And then if you're end game, you just get like fun stuff or something. I don't know. Those go there. Not going any faster. All right, I think this is where I'm going to let it sit, and then we, because it's it's going pretty slowly. But I'm going to see if I have any other rustics. Actually, I should try getting that out of the crushing tub. Although probably you can just empty, just break the crushing tub, and it would um. It will get rid of the liquid, but I don't want to do that. Okay. So, yeah. So, I will see you guys when um, the wine is finished. Okay, while I was waiting, I went ahead and made the drying basin. Um, I can put 
I've just crushed some iron berries and I can use that juice put into the iron basin and then it will slowly evaporate into tiny part into piles of um uh iron and then I can use that to make I can use that to make um iron nuggets or something. I don't know. I mean we don't need iron, but it's an option. Oh we've got oh we've we've got wine. Quality 0.45. Okay, but that's fine. Drink it. I mean that's the whole point, right? Oh <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. If I drink more, does it make me... Oh my goodness. Oh, does it give you any, any effects? Nausea and inebriated. Oh, I'm inebriated for six minutes. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, I apologise if anybody's like, uh, that's too much. Oh, but that is too funny. Can I go and sleep it off? Leave it off. I really apologize to anybody. I didn't think. Oh, right. That's a bit weird. That is so weird, but it's so funny. I sleep it off. No, you can't sleep it off. You're still drunk the next day. <laughs> oh my word. This is hilarious. Yeah. Oh, this is too funny. But um yeah, so we did the drying basin. We got thirty two iron berries. Uh over time it will evaporate into tiny piles of iron dust, which you can turn into iron ingots. You can grow iron. Like I said, we don't need it, but it's good to know. And we got this from the brewmaster. Oh, Okay, well I think that's enough for today. Next week we'll do the lighting. I'll go and I'll collect everything that I need. I'll make some wax and so on. Herb collector. Uh root core root spawn in caves and mallow root spawn in jungle and swamp biomes. Okay. So we need to find mallow marshmallow root and root i don't know if i have any of those but we'll have to look and see and get into some brewing so maybe next week we might be able to finish off the rustic tab and then get into well, we've only got three big mods left immersive engineering astral sorcery and Britannia. so yeah this is this is this is pretty good actually i'm going to leave the screen up here because I can see the screen going in the background and it's like yeah that's that's enough now so yeah so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode all right thanks for watching bye bye